It's been four months since the end of the university ad, but for Taipei City government, the work has not stopped. One task is clearing out the athlete's village so it can be made into social housing. And thousands of items placed in the village and used by athletes for just three weeks are now going up for auction. These include beds, mattresses, hair dryers and clothes racks. After the curtain fell on the Universiad and the athletes headed back to their countries, the athletes' village in Linko fell quiet. Now, after four months of sorting, there are still 20,000 unused items left in the village. This summer, the buildings will be given over to the central government, and Taipei's authorities have decided to auction off the barely used objects that have been sitting around. These prices are roughly 63 to 69 percent off the price the city government originally paid. These goods were only given to the Universiad athletes to use for about three weeks. We guarantee they're all like new and in very good condition. The starting price for this bed frame and mattress set is only $2,640, an offer that could interest many. But the problem is, the city government has chosen to sell only in bulk. A buyer must take at least 20 units of each item. We need to clear everything out quickly so we can hand the buildings over to the construction and planning agency to use as social housing. We hope these items can be sold quickly so we set a minimum quantity for each sale. If there are goods left over when the auction ends, we will consider whether or not to remove this quantity restriction. Some have complained that selling in bulk rules ordinary buyers out of the running. But the Department of Urban Development says it hopes that the general public will support the auction and help them to clear out their stock while striking a bargain.